What is up guys, this is just going to be a real quick reconstruction of my 5.57 official 3x3 single. I got this at the Canberra competition back in April. And this is my fastest official full step single, aka my fastest official single that wasn't lucky per se. It was, in my opinion, like, you know, a bit of a nice scramble in a lot of nice cases. But no steps were exclusively skipped, or at least the ones that were skipped, I was actively forcing the skip which was namely in the F2L, I got a double X cross as opposed to just a normal cross. But I forced the... well, I forced one of the pairs to be solved and the other one I could... I mean, it was, it was basically impossible not to solve it. So I'll, I'll show you what I mean exactly. So I did yellow cross. These two edges were um, opposite to their centers and in correct relation to each other. This edge was lined up with its center. And then we had this block here, and this is kind of what I mean by, like, I didn't really have to do anything to force it, per se. Because the start of my solution, I, I was holding it from this angle. And I moved this cross edge down with, like, a D fat R prime. And by doing that, I solved the corner in between the two edges, you know, which is easy, because it's just a built block. And the edge kind of solves itself. Like, I saw all of that in inspection, but I wasn't exactly actively forcing it. So that was the only, like, true lucky part of the solve. Now, here's where I force the double X cross by doing those two moves. Yes, this edge gets solved, which goes with that block from before. But I also noticed that this edge here would be solved as well, the orange and green. And the other thing I tracked in inspection was this corner here. And then the cross edge, it just moves up here. Um, I did mention that it was next to the center, but it didn't really help too much with the X X cross. It was just of note. And I solved this corner between these two cross edges here, like so. R U R prime, U. I uh, prime, prime D2 effectively getting a Petrus block in the back. Not that the Petrus is a good method or anything. Um, and then yeah, I just solved the last cross edge like that. Gets the corner in, builds a whole layer as well. Not that that's particularly useful. I've uh, since moved on from the beginner method. So next pair I saw was this edge and this corner. I didn't do like a beginner style insert. I used keyhole. So I did a D like that. Insert edge like that. If I was being smart, I would have done a wide U prime and then set myself up for the last pair, but instead I did D prime, rotate. And then this is probably the most interesting part of the solve. Um, shall set it up on this cube. So for whatever reason, I know a fancy OLL skip insert for this pair when I have this case and this block in the front and then this corner on the left. I know that I can do like an R2D da -da -da type insert. I didn't quite have this case, I had the corner facing the other way, but just from experience, I know that, or I knew rather, well I still know it, but I can solve this pair like normal and then I will immediately have U into back soon, so I solve this pair just 2 gen, and then do U, R prime, U prime, R, etc. So it's kind of like a pseudo OLL skip trick that I know, except I'm just kind of, I'm not even cancelling into the OLL, I'm just doing it immediately, and that's why you'll see in the video, I had like, well, I did have zero pause between last slot and OLL. So I did that. Then U straight into back soon. And then U and then J turn. So that was a really nice PLK. Okay, so that's kind of what I mean. Like it was, it wasn't strictly a lucky solve unless you consider like that easy block luck. Um, other than that, it was just a keyhole set up for the double XX cross. Double XX for the XX cross. Keyhole third pair. Good knowledge for fourth pair and OLL, and then easy JPM no AUF. So that's a reconstruction of my 5.57 official single. Hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.